Hello friends, family and other creatures of the sea, welcome back to another replay cast. Today we'll be having a look at a game played between Zest and Classic. The top right as always, the pink Protoss is going to be Zest and the bottom left is going to be the blue Protoss player, Classic. So, I do believe that Zest almost always plays in pink, I can't really recall him not playing pink. Maybe there's one or two games, sometimes you get forced to play a color uh, by tournaments. Like in the EPT or the GSL, that's of course very possible. But majority of the time when I do watch him in these online cups, he's always playing with pink. Opening up with a single gateway in the main base, as we have a cheeky PvP here on our hands. A rematch, of course, from the GSL Code A match that they played between uh, one another. Best of five it was back then. And uh, in that match, uh, Classic had the opportunity to take it a couple of times. He failed to do that and Zest advanced on to GSL Codes, which he then went on to get second place. Very impressive result, of course. Um, but none of that would have happened if Classic had seized a couple of opportunities. And I'm curious to see if Classic once again is going to let it slip or if this time he will capture the moment. Usually you only get one shot or one opportunity. And Classic got a second opportunity. So he's once again playing against Zest here map is going to be Beckett Industries Ladder Edition. And it's one of those maps we don't see a lot of PvP on because most of the time it's just going to get vetoed in best of threes and in best of fives. Most of the time one person is also going to take it out. Second final finishes up in the main base here for Zest as we see some uh, minor pro pervas going on. None of this crap is going to be the end of the world though. You know, you just deny a little bit of mining. You hope that the probes start bugging each other out. They get angry at each other. You know, you, yeah, you just have to direct them back to that mineral patch and all is good in the world. Sentry Stalker here, out of Zest. On Beckett is um, perhaps a little bit optimistic, but we'll see. Maybe I'm just too negative. I've had too many bad experiences in my life opening Sentry on this map. As on this map, it's not uncommon for the person who opens Stalker Stalker to just run straight across the map and go for some major pressure. It seems like... That's kind of what Classic is planning here as well. He's gonna let this pylon stand and he's just gonna, yep, there we go, through the speed zone. At least the first speed zone. He's gonna skip the second one to get up on this high ground. And from here on out, he might actually be in a position to deal some damage. Stalker 2 and 3 are on the way, of course, for Zest. But Stalker 3 and 4 are also on the way here for Classic. He's going to follow this up with a proxied Stargate. This ain't no regular Stargate, no. This is proxied, baby. So we have uh, no extra units coming out, but a third, or sorry, a natural will be going down. And now we'll see the first four stalkers make their way across the map. If you scout this with a hallucination, this will look pretty freaking suspicious. I have to admit it. This looks like something is missing, right? You see unit five. Okay, well, unit five and six being built at the same time. That's an obvious fake. Well, it's obvious because we know what's happening, but... I guess it's not such an obvious fake if you're Zest in this case. We're gonna see perhaps a little bit of a trade here. One Stalker for one Stalker. Force Field is being used here as well. Second Force Field is being used. Two Stalkers for two Stalkers. And two Force Fields went down as well. Now, you could say the Force Field is not that big of a deal. We already got the information. But the Stalkers going down actually is huge. And the reason for that is, is because, well... We have an Oracle on the way, there's going to be two Adepts as well, so every little bit of damage output that Zest has would be extremely useful, and especially with a second Oracle on the way as well, like, the Stalker count for Classic is going to be largely irrelevant, the Stalker count for Zest is going to matter a crap ton, this Oracle is going to be able to pick off three workers for free, and... Yeah, it's truly for free. No hull damage being taken. The Adepts managed to get into the natural. This is a beautiful opener here for Classic, who's uh, taking a pretty big lead already in this game. Kills five, six workers total. Does end up losing two Adepts, but uh, forces another force field out of Zest, which means that Zest won't have another uh, hallucination for a little bit at least. Robo rather than twilight and two more adepts okay so all of these things that classic is doing right now the robo the extra two adepts this kind of tells me that classic needs to do damage with these adepts like this is an investment in more damage and you can't just lose these and kill half a worker no you're gonna need three four 
ideally actually five workers. I don't think three is actually enough. He's going to dive on top of these sentries. We'll get two sentries, loses an oracle. Um, and we'll be able to hopefully pick up one more worker, maybe even a second one. No, it's just going to be one more. Six workers, two sentries for an oracle and two adepts. That is a trade that... Oh my god. One more. That is a trade that is very well worth it. Oh, these two adepts are just risky at this point. He's playing with fire. He's just... The, the more gateway units you get, the more you're delaying your secondary tech. And in this case, well, I guess the Robo is the secondary tech, but I'm talking about the Blink here, or the potential charge. These Stalkers are going to make their way across the map, but there is an Immortal there. These Adepts will once again function as a backstab mechanism here, as uh, a classic is playing a fantastic game. How does he read these games that well? It's, it's actually insane how well he's doing. This is just a game filled with harass here, out of the Protoss player from Korea. And then I realized they're both Protoss players from Korea. The blue Protoss player. <laughs> we have a forge on the way here for Zest, who's down 13 workers. We'll be able to finally find this Stargate and take out the pylon, so no more adepts. So far, 18 workers have gone down on the side of the Zest. That's about 3 workers a minute. 6 adepts have gone down on the side of Classic, as well as an Oracle and 3 Stalkers. Stargate now also shows up on the, the units lost, even though that Stargate is definitely a building, but... No, I'm not one to uh, talk about semantics too much, so um, let's just forget about it. Forge Twilight to follow up. It is a little bit late, Forge Twilight, after third base, after four gas. Yeah, that isn't quick. Um, however, Classic is in still a pretty demanding lead. Um, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's in a big lead. He's, he's loving life currently. I'm just... I'm just looking at these things. And when I said demanding, I of course meant commanding. Um, charge, plus one. So where are the opportunities right now for Zest? Like, he is down in, well, not workers, well, not too far at least, but he's going to be down a base. His stack isn't looking brilliant. I mean, he has Blink Stalkers going up to six gate right now. I guess the plan is to blink into his opponent's main base and get a force shoot on the ramp, and I don't really mind the plan, to be honest. Except this robo might be a little bit too late for that, so... Maybe a third base, go into robo bay, try something with DTs maybe? Is this, is this something that we can see, we can get behind? I can get behind it. it does have faster upgrades, and I think Classic will be working towards what seems to be a bit of a plus one timing. Already has four gateways done. Four more on the way means uh, we'll have eight gateways. It's a perfect amount of gates to move out. Okay, yeah. Second robo, robo bay, as well as a third base. Now, these are the kind of moves you expect from a man that's uh, in a painful position currently. I'm wondering if he's going to start plus two the moment it finishes. Because plus two doesn't really have the priority anymore at this point, I would say, at least. Um, if you're going to be tacking into this heavy disruptor count, still could be nice though to have that extra damage output on this stock. We do see plus two start immediately. Double battery, single cannon on this third. We see Zest moving out to look for, I think a hallucination he wanted to look. Oh my god. Classic knew that he got scouted with the hallucination and preempted this move out. This is a high level game. Classic is playing fantastic. Cla Classic actually is playing a fantastic game. His early game is so insanely powerful. I watched him play uh, a series the other day against Dream as well, in which he just looked so, so solid. And especially in that early game, once it gets into the mid game and into the late game, he doesn't look like he's the greatest toss, but that early game phase, his unit control, his decision making, it just always seems to be on point. Zest will have a Stalker patrolling here and will be able to probably even take out this Oracle. He's Classic wasn't quite paying attention there. Yep, Oracle goes down. It's frustrating. This could have been useful maybe for a stasis ward in the mineral line. I'm surprised as well, by the way, that Classic didn't go for that plus one timing. And now instead is going to hit a, well, still a timing with plus one, but while plus two is researching. So this isn't a very tight attack whatsoever. There's two disruptors out already. I think he could have almost hit before any disruptors were out. Well, I think he could have hit for sure. I know he could have hit before at least more than two disruptors are out. Now it's going to be hitting into four disruptors with five immortals. That's not quite what you want to be seeing. And 
I do think Classic is aware of what's happening, right? I mean, oh, he actually isn't. He has no clue. We're gonna see what uh, Zest decides to do. Very patient. Very patient with the di these disruptor shots. Shoots one right now, moves forward with the Stalker. Second shot also connects with another six supply. I think we've seen about 12, maybe even 14 supply go down already. And these disruptors are already half on cooldown. A uh, bit of a zoning shot. One more shot is ready, and then the next one will be off of cooldown again. No new disruptors are being built here, though, as uh, Zest decides to spend his money on a couple more war pins. Should be going up to, f well, at least into the fifth gas, but I wouldn't even mind a sixth gas over here. Fourth base has already finished, of course, for Classic, who decides that the answer to the double disruptor is going to be Phoenixes. And... Um, it is an answer, it is not the perfect answer, but if you already have an army that has five immortals, so much damage against stalkers, I think Phoenix are actually a fantastic answer. And Zestis, he must have seen this. No, he just knows. He's now going to be going into Colossi. So I feel like there is some, some history between these players. This isn't the first time that they're playing. I think Zest knows uh, what Classic likes. Classic likes Phoenixes. Fleet Beacon as a follow-up. This is generally considered to be a risky move. The reason for that is, if Zest hits a timing with Colossi and Disruptors before the first wave of Fleet Beacon Stargate units are out, Classic could be in a world of trouble because he has like 18 to 20 supply in these Stargates. And Zest is going to have a massive army that is also slightly more advanced than his opponent with these Colossi. So very often, even though you see people play Phoenixes, they either go into Phoenix Colossi or just Phoenix Disruptor. It's going to be Tempest. Hoping to counter the Colossi that way. This is a very rare scenario, which we don't see a lot. We saw it a bit more in the past, but we don't see it a lot anymore. Of course, Tempest do a crap ton of damage to Colossi. They're very strong, don't get me wrong, but I feel like that Classic is just leaving a timing window open here for Zest. And I think Zest might just be able to hit that. On top of that, he still has the upgrade lead. Zest still has the upgrade lead, which means that if he hits in about 40 seconds, there's going to be three Tempest out. Nah, there's going to be five Tempest out. But there also will be four Colossi, and there's going to be plus three, four Disruptors. And at the end of the day, it's just going to be a battle of the ground armies, right? The Tempests don't have enough DPS to really trade efficiently with a mass Stalker army. So if you win the ground fight here as Zest, you most likely win the game. On top of that, he hasn't been building any workers. Classic is going to be fighting with an army that is a solid 20 supply smaller. Uh, a lot of his supply is in air units that don't fight well against the ground. This could potentially be very bad here for the blue Protoss player as the Tempus do start shooting from a distance. Stalkers are moving forward. Couple of uh, Tempus shots are being dodged here with some nice blink control. Armor upgrades being researched. We have four Tempus out. Oh, that's a nasty blink and not the good type of nasty. No, that's, uh, that's not good. Couple of Stalkers did end up falling there. The Tempus are still shooting, trying to get any damage, shave off any unit that they can, but uh, for now, ooh, that's a good blink. Gets a Tempest for free, or practically for free. Needs to be careful though, moving into the choke. There's only three Phoenixes left, and there's still four Disruptors. Two more Phoenixes are being uh, constructed as we speak. Plus three's about to finish up as well here for Classic, as Zest finds the position that he wants to be in. Throws out one zoning Disruptor, moving forward very carefully with these Stalkers. Takes out one of these Tempests once again. There's still three Tempests on the map at this point, but all four Col no, sorry, three Colossi are still alive. No, four Colossi are still alive. Good kiting motions here out of Zest. Zest has a massive army. Big Bank as well, still here for the pink Protoss, who is uh, up in supply, way up in army supply currently. Still has three Colossi left over, a bunch of Disruptors, and all of these shots are sadly for him going to miss. Now the Phoenixes are coming in, we'll pick up a couple of these Disruptors. Tempest are having good focus fire on the Colossi. I'm not sure who's winning this fight, but I'm afraid that it might actually be Zest here, as these Tempest in the air, not doing too much. Oh, there's DTs in the army! DTs in the army, I didn't see it, Zest didn't see it. The Observer, slightly out of position, did not spot those Dark Templar who... Uh, 
managed to inflict a crap ton of damage. Five kills on uh, on all three of these Templar. No, on two of the Templar, five kills. One Templar, two kills. But these are not probe kills, my friends. No, these were stalker kills and disruptor kills and perhaps a colossi kill as well. So that's good value on a on a two supply unit, killing five other two supply units. It's a good trade. It's a four supply that just killed twenty supply of your opponent. That's kind of how you want to see these big fights. At this point though, Classic lost a lot of his worker lead. Still has that fifth base and most likely will be out mining his opponent soon again once he gets that uh, saturation going. He's slightly oversaturated right now in the natural. Stalkers are looking around, looking for some damage, perhaps on a fifth base. Zest uh, blissfully unaware right now that there is a fifth base. Scouts the bottom side and says, hey, it's four versus four. Luckily Zest wasn't born yesterday and decides to also throw this observer uh, up in the air. I say, hey, go for a little flight, mate. See what's kicking off on that, uh, what is it? Nine o'clock? No, it's more like 10 o'clock base. A couple of Stalkers will make their way over there. As these Stalkers get caught in the middle of, middle of the map by this uh, Chargelot Archon uh, army. Phoenix has also managed to pick up one Stalker. And one Phoenix dies as well. Disruptor count currently at zero, as Classic is in a massive supply lead. Classic is looking for... Uh, Probably some points here. I think he's going to actually win this game. Tempest are flying in. Target down the Colossi like the good boy that he is. GG gets called and Zest will lose this uh, game on Beckett. Cheeky game though and almost managed to make the comeback with a powerful 3-1 timing push of 59 workers. Wasn't good enough however and Classic takes it. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching another video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And I appreciate your time. As always, uh, I'll see you next time for more videos. Bye-bye.